social mobility. So in order to encourage Singaporeans to send their children to school, he made sure that primary education was given to children free of charge. He also extended secondary education to all races and also expanded the universities. Because of that, school building projects and teacher training became mandatory. Everyone had to work hard. Now, Mr. Lee Kuan Yew, he also helped with building better housing for Singaporeans. And with Housing Improved, he encouraged Singaporeans to have a sense of ownership and belonging by encouraging Singaporeans to own their own homes. He also encouraged Singaporeans and helped them or helped us to save money for our homes and for our retirement. Now, Lee Kuan Yew made sure that our Singapore was clean and green, and he ensured the preservation of natural resources and natural landscapes throughout the island. And there were tree planting throughout the island, and also the cleaning of Singapore River and the Kalam Basin. Why? Was it stinky and dirty? Stinky and dirty indeed. The Singapore River housed squatters, vegetable sellers, uh, there were industries and warehouses along the river, not to mention the bum boats and the sampans that crowded the river. If you all remember the Singapore River in those days? Yeah. Yes. And it took the government 10 years to clean the river. 10 years to relocate the squatters and the vegetable sellers and hawkers, relocate all the bum boats and the sampans to other locations, and they had to dredge the river of debris, rubbish, and waste. Oh my! Waste? Yes. It must have cost millions and millions of dollars then. Millions and millions of dollars indeed. What about the Kalam Basin? The Kalang Basin? <laughs> the Kalang Basin area used to house chicken farms, duck farms, and pig farms. So I shall not go there. You can use your own imagination. Huh? Oh, disgusting. So that is why, in order to keep Singapore clean and green, laws for antisocial behavior had to be created. Tougher laws for crimes so that Singapore would be a safe environment for all of us who call it home. Now, Lee Kuan Yew, not only was he a, de a devoted man to Singapore, he was also a devoted husband to Kuo Biok Chu and also a devoted father to his children. Coco Becky, I'm very glad to come with you on this tour. I have learned that our women fought for their place in society. I have learned that our group names came from real people's names. And I have learned that philanthropy is very important as it helps people in need. Yes, that's very good, Charlie. I'm so glad that you came along on this trip. And I'm so glad that all of you took the time to join us on this little journey. Now, we only mentioned like half of this pioneer, the Peranakan pioneer. So, do feel free to roam around and find out more about our pioneers, our Peranakan, our Peranakan pioneers of Singapore. And don't forget to go down to the first level. There is a screening of the movie, a little movie, uh, Dream of Emerald Hill, The Life of Rosie Xiao, who is the mother of Stella Kahn, who is the author of Emerald Hill. So with that, I leave you. I promised my nephew that I would take him to go eat ice cream. That was where he wanted to go instead of the museum. So I leave you all. Enjoy the rest of your day. And once again, happy National Day. Goodbye, everybody.
Thank you. Thank you. This is Manu's piece. 